why don't we switch gears just a moment, and okay. now we're going to have a little bit of fun. All right. Let's see here. Oh, I like this one. Alexa, do a barrel roll. Alexa, do a barrel roll. I'd love to, but it's harder than it looks. I'm sure it is. <laughs> How would you describe talking to Alexa in a spacecraft? In some ways, it was exactly the same as talking to Alexa at home, which is wonderful because it means the technology works really well. But then, of course, it's also very different. Alexa, what is the temperature inside Orion? Alexa, what is the temperature inside Orion? Cabin temperatures throughout the mission vary between 65 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit with possible peaks above 70 degrees during lunar flybys. Can you talk a little bit about what new features we had to build to make this possible? The Alexa that's on board Orion looks a lot like an Echo Dot, but behind the scenes, there's a lot more going on. That was significant innovation. From a hardware perspective, we had to work with Lockheed Martin to build a physical product that could withstand the rigors of space travel. And so that was a, a brand new kind of Alexa voice service product we had to build. Then when it comes to software enhancement, there were a number of things we did, particularly for things like telemetry. Alexa, what is the atmosphere like inside Orion? Alexa, what is the atmosphere like inside Orion? The pressure inside Orion is 14.2 pounds per square inch. Average Orion crew module cabin temperatures throughout the mission are... Also, the acoustic environment is very different on board a capsule. It's mainly made of metal, which is very different than a living room. And so we had to tune the wake word engine and the speech recognition technology to ensure that Alexa could wake up and understand people. Alexa, tell me a joke. Alexa, tell me a joke. We also added hundreds of uh, new questions and answers that are relevant to space travel and uh, the mission. And then the last thing we did was build the ability for Alexa to connect to the deep space network and go all the way back to Earth to reach the cloud and bring back more timely information. Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? Great food, but no atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> this is good, right? Why was it important for Alexa to be part of this mission? for a number of reasons. First, we are in an exciting new era of space exploration. Voice and voice control can play an important role. Second, we think our work in space can make our devices uh, back on Earth better. And then the third reason is inspiration. You know, it's important to us that we do our part to fuel the next generation of astronauts, scientists, and software development engineers, and really think that if people can see things like this, it will be inspirational for those that are interested in these fields. There are many firsts in this program. We often talk about making a little bit of history at Amazon, and I think it's absolutely clear that we have made some history here. The magnitude of the accomplishment, I think, is something we should all be very proud of.